this tutorial is going to discuss and explain how to balance a redox reactions equation in a basic medium. And this is simply a continuation of what the problem would be if we had balanced it in an acidic medium. <clears throat> so there is actually a video on balancing this particular reaction in an acidic medium. And you can find that um, video on YouTube as well. And this is the final end product that we got. And so in order to balance a basic medium problem, you're going to have to go through all of those series of steps um, in order to determine that. And then once you have balanced the reaction up until the steps where you've um, balanced it as an acidic medium, you would continue for a couple of more steps to balance it as a basic medium. And again, if you need uh, those step-by-step -step instructions, you can go to chemistry bytes.com for a specific list of those steps if you wanted to follow along but that video does demonstrate it so what we need is this particular equation this 10 I minus plus 2 MN 4 minus and 16 H plus which yields 5 I 2's 2MN, two, 2 pluses, and 8H2Os. And as you can see right now, what we have is indeed an aqueous solution, lots and lots of water there, and what we have is lots and lots of this H plus. H plus in water simply means we have an acidic solution. So how do we turn this into a basic solution? Well, the first thing we need to do is neutralize all this acid. That would make it a neutral solution. But to make it basic, we must go one, one step further and add additional base. So we've got to add in a ton of base. Enough base to neutralize these 16 uh, H plus atoms and ions, and even more to make it slightly basic, meaning we should not have just enough H plus to equal OH minus, but rather, an excess of OH minus ions. That's the only way we're going to make it basic. So how do we do that? Just a couple of simple steps. And you guessed it, if this is a basic medium, we must be using some hydroxide. So we're going to add hydroxide to both sides. We're going to do everything to both sides as we've always done to make sure that we are consistent. Therefore, we're going to add one mole of hydroxide ion to both sides of the equation for every H plus. So we have 16 H plus, so we're going to add 16 OH minus to this side and 16 OH minus to this side. Now we've kept it balanced. Now what happens when we take 16 H plus and 16 OH minus? We make 16 H2Os, hence the neutralization. So let's clean up this equation. 10I minus and 2MnO4 minus and 16H2Os. What do we have over here? 5I2 and 2Mn2 plus and 8H2Os and 16OH minuses. All right. Now, you can see we've got 16 H2Os on this side, and we've got 8 H2Os on that side. So let's clean it up further still. These 8 waters will be eliminated by how many of these? 8 of them, leaving 8 left. Let's rewrite once again. 10 I's minuses 2 Mn O4 minus 8 waters left. That's what makes it an aqueous solution. On the other side, 5I2s, the 2MN2 two pluses, no waters because we've, got we've gotten rid of them. And last of all, we have 16OH minus ions left. So does this now look like a basic medium? Lots of water, lots of hydroxide. That is a basic aqueous solution. Notice how before we had a lot of H pluses. That's what made it acidic. We neutralized them by adding hydroxide, we made a ton of water, we cleaned up the equation so that we've eliminated the water and simplified those coefficients. 
and by having this hydroxide added to the other side that's the hydroxide that remains so at the end this is the basic version and this was the acidic version